there may be zombies at the gate. <laughs> However, we have a very important day ahead of us. Oh dear, I wish she'd stop bloody shooting them with that shotgun. It's not helping at all. Stop it, please. So, as you can see in the bottom left, we are finding friendly survivors. Uh, and yes, it is the very, very nice group that uh, promised to join us before. Just changing my audio slightly, because it's a very loud game. Very loud game all of a sudden. So, we're going to go off. We're going to, they've got the nice hero with them. But more importantly, that boosts our population up to 10. And I went off and checked. Oh yes, by the way, we have 120 materials. Uh, 40 of everything else. Uh, because I've been scavenging. Uh, it turns out, we only need 10 people to join the factory. So that's where we're going to go, this video. I thought of a name for, for, our new, for our new settlement. And we're going to try and get as many people as possible to join us. Uh, because I'm fairly certain people will just keep joining. Uh, I'm pr yeah, I am pretty certain that people will just keep on joining until we get sick of them. Uh, in the form of enclaves and like friendly survivors just appearing in the wild. <laughs> well, you should join us. So the plus so, side is we're getting uh, Montresor, uh, which is bloody bleeding awesome. Just to, uh, if I haven't made that already clear by me freaking out over her so much already, but she's basically a badass military mayor. Um... She's going to be like the head of our military. And unless we get more more soldiers, then we'll see. We'll see what goes on. Oh, God. Please, just hurry up and get the, get the stuff. Please. I'd just like to hurry up and leave so that we can go to the new factory. Oh, God. Ah! I built the factory up as a like, proper safe haven now. <laughs> It's going to be really embarrassing if it's just crap and we just all die there. But there's ten of us. I think we'll be okay. I think we should be pretty fine. Ooh. Sorry. Have we? Well, it's fine because I've led him away. Right, you fellas follow me. And Montressa. <laughs> she doesn't qualify as a gender. She's just, you know... Montressa. <laughs> Diane, I'm afraid. Sorry, Diane. Nice. Got that canvas. I needed a canvas because I was building a library. Because I saw that um, like research time and build time for stuff and upgrade time is increased by 300%. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's why people build libraries. Now I understand. Wow. That was actually quite a bit here. Um... I I don't know if I can even take back any more supplies. I think I filled up the stockpile, which is insane. Hurry over here, hurry over here. There we go. Everyone in, everyone in, everyone in. Oh god, oh god, oh god. That's it. You too, Diane. Come on, even you. Oh god, I hope she's good with guns. She better be. She should be. Right, so there's definitely materials and gas in there, which is good to remember. Um, it's insane that I think, in fact, I think I might have increased my storage, but it's insane if I filled up my storage with materials, considering last round I struggled so much to find fucking gas, and this round I've got too much of everything. Um, so what we're going to be doing is sorting out outposts as soon as we get there. Outposts okay. are going to be really Thank important you. in the factory. See you soon. You got it from here? Everyone in. We've got it from here. I'm just gonna sort that out, there we go. And then, is that gonna finish while I'm out? Yes, definitely. The father, the father, the father, the father. Where is he? What are we on for him? We're on 3 out of 11. We're still on 3 out of 11, okay. I don't think you can upgrade the library. But we're on population 10, which is the most important thing. We are going to go to the factory, uh, the trucking warehouse, the Snyder trucking warehouse, my good old Snyder, of course, hello, I see you there, 
our way are going to be starting. Right, we've got 138, so I think we are nearing the amount that we can have in total. Sit tight. Let's take all I'm this food. This all this Trick. lovely food. See you back at base. We'll be ready. The good thing is everything at the moment. For some reason, uh, round six has been the easiest, which is mental. Everything's mental. I'm going the wrong way. That's mental. Fucking mental, fam. Let's go. Let's roll. How's it going? Rolling. I'm almost there. I am, however, hoping that this is the last time I record. Today. I've recorded a lot today, to be honest. I've recorded a fair amount. So I am hoping that this is the last that I have to record tonight. It's because I've been playing it as well. So it's kind of like dragged, not in a bad way. Usually when you say it's like, oh, it's dragged, it's taken so long. It's dragged in a good way. It's like, yes, I'm enjoying this game and time isn't going quick. The downside is we're almost at its end. Poor State of Decay 1 will never be touched again. I've gone the wrong way. State of Decay 1 will never be touched again as soon as I see, uh, see State of Decay 2. It's finished installing, we've got the DLC, it's beautiful. They've taken my money. Which I didn't know they did. Um, but apparently, yeah. Because I had pre-ordered uh, pre WWE. I think it was 2K18, the one that I had... Well, I pre-ordered like the last two. Um, three, in fact. Wow. Uh, but I, I pre-ordered State of Decay 2 and like, uh, State of Decay 2, oh my god! Pre-ordered WWE, uh, early, and like, downloaded it and stuff, but they didn't take the money out, and I was like, wait, <laughs> is this a trick, what's going on, have I been gifted money, mother, <laughs> have you given me money? I just like, gained, or like, not lost 60 pounds, or 80 pounds, or something along the line. So we're a little bit weird. Oh, we've got death from above now. Uh, relocate this home base. Like the sort of place that would make a good home. So I was a little bit surprised when they took the money out I'm and sure. I was like, yes, it's Look pending, thank move. God. Oh, I'm so excited for it, it's ready. <laughs> They've not said like, oh, you don't own this. They've just said, bugger off, you're not playing it yet. Anyway, aside from my assignment for State Decay 2, this is our new home, the Snyder Trucking Warehouse, also known as what I will be calling it, the Foundry. Now I'm going to be calling it the Foundry because I thought it were a factory. Um, <laughs> and it pays a little bit of homage to um, Halo 3's DLC map, the Foundry, which I love. I don't know why it's paying homage to that, it's a really, really random reference. Um, but I like it, it's nice. <laughs> Uh, we're now going to work towards building everything else. So we did build a library, so I'm not going to rush that. I'm going to leave that there. I think we can upgrade this watchtower, which is nice. Um, what did we build last time? It must have been... We got extra bedding areas, so it weren't that. So we might have to build that. But we're now building towards the father. <laughs> That's what we're building towards. That's the most important thing now. So over here, we're going to get a garden ready. We're going to have to go out a lot and, like, pick up supplies and stuff and search for new things. Um, that's a machine shop. Hopefully, as soon as that's built, we should be Gucci for the father. We should we should add another thing on. So I'm going to back out of the menu in the hope that it updates. I've got a good amount of ammo. Hello, fellas. It didn't update. Okay. That's weird. That's very weird. Wait, what do, What was I waiting for? That. Maybe we've got to build another one? Maybe? I don't really know. May is going to die now. We've reached like our optimum, our optimum level. We've done it. We've got where we want to be and now she's going to die. She's had enough. Uh, let's see. Oh. Wait. We did gain three people, didn't we? We must have gained Lane, because I don't recognise him. There's Montressa, who's brilliant with assault weapons, apparently, and she's a fitness guru. And then maybe we got, like, 
he he was part of it because I recognised the gun. However, him, Andre, Andre, Maddox, Maddox. It was Maddox. That was him. I remember the name. Uh, he was one of the first people we met. Right. Oh God, I've got to like try and decide what I want to be building. So we got the garden, which is definitely going to stay. We need something that sort of like rotates a little bit, if that makes sense. So, sort of like the dining and the kitchen area and all that sort of stuff, we're probably not going to keep. So I think I might use this spot inside for that and keep everything else outside. So I think it's probably a good idea for me to put the medical area next to the garden. Um, which, looking back, now doesn't sound too good because of hygiene. <laughs> um, however, like herbs and spices and stuff, you know, it all helps with, uh, with medicine. So, what else are we going to need? We're going to need a fighting dojo, a training area. We have that by the main gate, just in case. And I'm guessing the other the other workbench that we need, the other uh, basic workshop that we need, so that we can build it up to what we want. And then inside, we can do like bedding, or in fact, your yeah, bedding. I'm going to start with bedding and upgrade that and see how that goes, because we're going to need bedding anyway. So maybe we can actually use one of these outdoor spots instead. We've got a machine workshop here, and I don't quite know what that does. What does the machine workshop do in comparison to any other workshop? Oh, it's cars, isn't it? Oh, that's okay then. So the other one would be ammo. I mean, I can like... I can cope without having ammo. We're not going to play the game that much after we've got, like, some heroes and stuff. Um, so if we go through, complete all research projects is something I'd like to do. I've never gotten the scholar. I've never even gotten close to doing the research projects. So I wouldn't mind doing that. I don't know how to do the killer. <laughs> That's for damn sure. The phoenix, we're on our way by doing one out of 100. Um, that's something I'll have to build to off camera. Create medication in the infirmary five times. That seems like something easy. Create weapons in the workshop five times. Again, seems like something fairly easy. 300 rounds of ammo. I don't know how many rounds of ammo you make at once, but it seems easy again. It's sort of like just building up stuff. And then we're in the ones from earlier. So zombies with explosives were almost done. Um, the ninja we're on our way with, and that's it, and then obviously the father. So, we're running low on supplies now, so we're going to have to, like, start branching out. But I basically want to own this, this grid square area here. So, I want an outpost over here somewhere, or, like, over here covering this road. Then, I also want one over here, covering this road. So, this house, or this house, or this house, or this house. Or maybe that at a stretch. And then one of these houses here, covering this road. And then we'll put in outposts in between. I was going to have, like, all my outposts bunched up, covering all these roads. But I don't think I need them bunched up. So, I'm probably going to go out here now, and see if we can get some supplies. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Without dying. Without losing anybody, we're so far into it now. I can't remember how many people I had on round three. I had a lot. I did have a lot. Hopefully there's some supplies here. We guess we need some supplies. I'm gonna see if I can stealth take down some more some more zombies. Again, some I'm gonna have to do off camera. Off with his head. Uh oh. There's a big fella. Let me just check the ninja real quick to make sure that's counting. Yep. Fantastic. We will quickly search this. Did we? Oh, I forgot about Cleo. Oh, God. I'm trying not to like make too much sound because of that big bugger over there. We've run into a bit of a snag. We've got the basics, but to really pull this off, we need a little more. I honestly expected to, Lily. Or find another way. But it'd be faster if you did a little scavenger hunt. I know it bloody would. I'm looking, don't worry. 
Don't you worry, a sen love. I'm already on it, like a car bonnet. Speaking of car bonnet, I've lost my cars. Oh no, one of them's over there. It's fine. What we got here? Nice. Aha, there's the insulation. And a fuck ton of materials. Holy hell. Holy hell, we're bringing the car over. Because one, it's quicker. And two, we can get them all at once. Grab that bloody car. How's it going? I'm almost there. It's it's going oh I forgot I had some one. stuff in. There you go. Don't say I never gave you anything. Shit. Mm, what you got? Oh, you know. Stuff. Food. Lots of foods. Lovely, lovely foods. Right, quickly grab these materials, Maya. I've been really, really lucky with um, materials, right, which is strange. We'll I'm never usually lucky with, uh, with materials, having like a hundred at once. That's a new, like even in single player, I don't think I had that I'm much. That. But to be fair, I didn't like scavenge as much in single player. Earlier on, I did go on like a massive rave scavenging. Oh, more stuff there as well in that, uh, in that ting. Right, uh, no. Oh, sorry. I've started, like, flicking through things. Ah, okay, we're gonna need some more. So we're gonna upgrade that to a workshop, and then we're gonna go higher up. Higher up. Um. Now the real question is... Oh! There we are, I made that just in time. Do flame gausses count as weapons? If so... It's going to be really, really easy to do one of the challenges. Quickly grab that. Quicker, 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 quicker. Uh, something I also want to do, which I've not done yet. Go through here, sports equipment. We've not done that. We've also not done firefighter tools. So let's do that. Uh, probably lost a lot of influence. We've got 100 now. That's probably not as good as it could be. I thought there might be. Up, Let's get those. Uh, was there some inside? Wait. Ah. Barrel. 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 I'm stuck. Barrel. Okay. A little barrel. Like Brilliant. We'll be ready. Fuck you, you big shit. We'll quickly, uh, quickly clamber inside of the bloody base. <laughs> Since we've alerted things. Oh, I've crashed. I've started crashing. It's all gone to shit. The plus side is we've got a machine shop automatically. So any cars I leave out here, I can easily just go offline for a bit and they'll repair. Which is very, very nice. Come on, zombie, follow me. Follow me into my lovely base. My lovely, lovely base. Even bloody Lily Ritter's off on one. Trying to figure out what's going off. Uh, take a take a grenade and get some more explosive kills. Why not? Why not? See if I can find a horde. In fact, fuck it. Those will do. Cooey! <laughs> Oh god, it's begun, hasn't it? Where I start, like, not giving a shit at all. And it all goes downhill. We need more cotton swabs. More! More cotton swabs! Uh, an SUV blue, that's lovely. What was it that had the explosive kills? There it is, Grenadier. Oh, we should be able to do that easy with some hordes. We've got guns on the ready, everyone's blasting everything everywhere. Brilliant. We've got people hurt, but that's fine, we'll sort that. Uh, I just want to quickly check. Ah, there's Cleo. We're going to go grab Cleo in this episode. That's something that's going to be a thing. We're taking uh, Constance. No, we're not. We'll take Montressa with us. Uh-oh. That's a big fella. Not a nice looking big fella either. I wish they'd learn that they can't shoot this. <laughs> Maybe they're just trying to get lucky shots. Stop it. 
Right, everyone back inside and hide from the juggernaut. I'm gonna take Constance with me. Oi. How's it going? Uh, come with me. The reason I'm taking Constance is because she's a hero. And we're on round six going after a Cleo. In a very, very shitty little area. In fact, I'm gonna go get some more explosives. Uh, or some fire or something. Because the area is truly horrific where we're going. Hello. Don't look at me. Hello. I love how that Lily's constantly got like unlimited um unlimited ammo. <laughs> she don't give a shit anymore. She's had enough. Where are oh, oh they're in here, aren't they? There they are. We've got seventy two Tech six. <laughs> Just start throwing them everywhere. Tech six. Right, let's go, Constance. Let's go get ourselves some guns. Some lovely gunny guns. Uh, which I'm not going to be able to carry a lot of. Oh, I said I was going to take Montressor with me. I've already gone against my word. It's fine. It's fine. I trust her. She need Look, she's protecting the thing. She's like building the goddamn uh, tower. <laughs> the goddamn guard tower. She's getting ready to get in it. She's got like an assault rifle ready. SMG on the side. Pistol in her boot. She's fucking ready to own. Awesome. Oh Outpost. shit. <laughs> I love the fact that I'm like, right, beginning of the episode we're going to do this. End of the episode, right, we've done this, which is not what I said we were going to do at the beginning of the video. Of course. Oh god. I've made a grave mistake. The plus side is, all the stuff I've been scavenging has been from like, a little bit of this town. And all the farmland and stuff, and like whatever we scavenged over here. Meaning, we've not like scavenged anywhere in the town that we're actually in. So we could be doing very, very well. The other side is, we have a first world problem on our hands. I've recorded a lot of State of Decay, so I might have to double upload some, which isn't comfortable. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with doing that. That's like an hour of State of Decay a day. Oh. Oh. I am not comfortable, but... To be fair, if it's got to be done, it's got to be done. I've sort of been, like, measuring out up until Thursday, like, how many there'll be, and, like, I've been thinking about where I should end it and stuff like that. But I'm basically just going to... I'm going to see when I can next record State of Decay. And however much I get done in that session, then I'll be like, right, okay, I think I'm going to end it at this point. Um, because I don't think I'm going to get done all the stuff that I want to get done. I could off camera if I play a lot of it, but I've got some other games coming that I'd like to play, like Mafia and Watch Dogs, Bioshock and LA Noir. Like, I got a bunch of them really fucking cheap. Um, so I'm going to be playing for a load of them. So I'm probably going to decide when to end this series some point over the next day or two um, you never know, this could be the ending you never know you'll find out in the title of the video no, no I'll, I'll do like an ending episode I think, <laughs> I hope <laughs> maybe there won't be an ending episode maybe that's it, it'll just end nothing else just I'll see you next time <laughs> runs off to State of Decay 2 Oh dear, maybe I should have done this in a separate video. <laughs> That's my issue. I keep on doing like one thing a video. I'm like, yeah, make some outposts. Okay, that took me like half an hour. <laughs> okay, we'll go get Cleo. Took me like 40 minutes. <laughs> right. God. I did, as you can see, do a viewpoint by the minimap. So I can see where loads of things are and sort of assume what I'm going to find in a house Located or a building. The things with just like common houses, is it's kind of just like a pick and mix gamble type thing. It's like if you sort of give your mate a couple of quid and be like, put whatever you want into the pick and mix for me to eat. <laughs> so you don't really know what you're going to get in it. You could take a rough guess that it's probably going to be either ammo, medicine or food. But nothing's, nothing's set in stone, and I've 
trap the fucking car. <laughs> right. Uh oh. They're moving a lot quicker than I expected. Wow. I mean, that killed a good chunk of them. Oh god, there's a lot more. Holy fuck. Oh my god, I cleared those out. Leave her alone, you fucks. That doesn't sound silenced. Fuck you. Fuck you, this is my chance to clear a load of them. Thank you, Constance. This is why I brought her. A sacrificial lamb to my zombie slaughter. Oh god, there's still a lot. There is still a lot. Back in the car, back in the car, back in the car, back in the car. Back in, back in, back in, back in. Back in, back in, back in! Oh my god. Right, okay, okay. Okay. Whoa! Okay, okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. That didn't blow up, which is weird. I got incredibly close to that bloater and it didn't pop. That one did. Of course it did. Whoa, no, 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 boy. Oh, right, we did it. Let's open the fucker. Oh, boy. We got quite a bit. Right, we've got medicine mostly, which is surprising. I thought we were going to get, like, ammo, but no. She's ran off. She's had enough. She's just going to run all the way home. Constance, man, she don't care. She don't give a shit. She's like, nah, fam, nah. <laughs> Ain't about that life, apparently. Get all this stuff in. I'm glad that we found medicine, actually. Because, honestly, it's so fucking rare. You gotta sort of hope and pray for things like Cleo when it comes to when it comes to wanting things like uh, like medicine. Right. I'm just gonna eat some of those in the hope. Yeah, there we go. I wanted to take some. I've searched everything, and although there is, I think there's like a flare or something. Oh, I wanted this gun, the diplomat. It sounded important. Taking this gun. There we go. Oh, God, I've whipped out a rifle. So we've got medicine and ammo, which is nice. We're now going to head back home. I'm going to see... I'm going to keep on recording to see if I see Constance on the way back. Uh, and plus, we might pick up some more supplies. Fuck. 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 Oh, Fuck. How does that even happen? We'll see you soon. Uh, drop rucksack. Quicker, 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 quicker. Quicker, so quicker, 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 quicker. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh. Um. Oh, we just lost something. Oh, we lost food. It's fine. Right, we're going to have to run and go quickly get a car. Luckily, backpacks don't despawn. I think even if you, like, exit the game, they still don't despawn. But we've got a fucking run. I need a oh, shit. I hadn't really expected that happening. Not like that. That's like a one in a million type thing. How the fuck does that happen? Oh, and there's no car outside the petrol station. <gasps> shit. Where is there a car? The church? There's a church. There's a church. There's a car at the church. We have to quickly run. Oh my god. <laughs> That's what you get for taking risks, apparently, and going downhill very quick. Oh my god, there's an infestation there. Infestation over the road as well. You mentioned survivors as well? Oh, you... Why... Oh... And a besieged. Okay, so next episode we're getting more people. <laughs> That's what we've learnt here today. Next episode we're gaining more people. 
Keep on. Oh, I probably could have taken him out with stealth, and I didn't. There's a fucking juggernaut. Run, drink more coffee, do whatever you can. We need to go get that pickup truck. Is that a horde? Oh, Mayor. Oh, Mayor. There it is. I'm gaining all my all my stamina so that I can just do a straight run. It's not a horde, it's just a lot of zombies. I didn't pick up a fucking f uh, flare. I didn't do anything. Go, 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 go. Quicker, quicker, quicker. We need to go get the medicine. Go, go, go. Go, you fool. Oh, crikey. We need to get that damn medicine. And we need to get back to the foundry quick. Oh boy. Oh. Thank God it don't get destroyed when you run them off. <laughs> I had a mini heart attack then. I'm loaded up. See you back at base. No. Roger that. We'll be waiting. Fuck you. Give me my goddamn rucksack. <laughs> Oh, Maya. 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 I wonder why. Here's a, here's, a, here's a little inquisitive thing for you. I wonder why they give you vehicles that can carry six people, but you can never ever have six people follow you. Because enclaves come in freeze, and whenever you go rescue somebody out just out in the wild, it's always just one. So, I wonder why, like, you're given the opportunity to carry, like, six people, unless it's ease of access, so it's like, oh, quickly, they're running from behind, they can jump in the back, they're running from the side or the front, they jump in the actual, like, cabin area. I don't know, I just find it a little bit weird. Unless they're sort of, like, hinting that maybe you can have more than three people with you at a time in State of Decay 2. It's not explicitly been said, I don't think. Nothing I've seen has said that. I'm hoping, praying and hoping, uh, that I can go through and like get a rough idea of what all the survivors look like, like the variants, because obviously it's just like random. Oh, a scavenger, where's that? Oh, quite close, we can do that next time. Um, so I'm hoping I can go through like maybe some of their videos and just get like a rough idea of what people are going to look like and whether they're going to look similar to this game. Um, obviously in this game it's a preset thing and because it was such a low budget game they didn't have a lot of presets. Like obviously we've seen another Jacob Ritter. <laughs> Which is a little bit weird. Um, all the heroes do look semi unique. Jacob, you know, the person we met had Jacob's hair in the same clothes but he didn't, he, like he wasn't Jacob Ritter. And we knew he weren't. So I don't know. I suppose we'll have to we'll have to see how it goes and I'll have a little gander and hopefully we can get some cool looking survivors, some badass ones. Um I have said <laughs> multiple times I wish that we could customise what they look like. And I know that it's meant to be like you know, it's like the thing that they use for GTA where people were saying Oh, I buy all these clothes for Michael, I buy these cars for Michael, and he changes out of them and uses other cars. And Rockstar were like, oh, well, you're not role-playing as you, you're role-playing as Michael. And Michael likes these things. And that's kind of the same thing for State of Decay 2. And State of Decay 1, I suppose. So, the reason they're not changing clothes, or the reason they wear the clothes that they wear, is because that's what they want to wear. I don't know. I like it when we can pick. Or maybe just pick from a select number of outfits and change things up. But it, it's not one of those things that bothers me. It's, I've turned it into like a hate video. <laughs> I hate them. I hate Undead Labs. Hate them. Horrible. Horrible humans. But no. They are, if it's a good game, it's going to be one of my favourite franchises. Which is mental to think. Definitely mental to think. But we're here. We're back at the foundry. Safe, safe, safe. We've got a lot to do. We've got a besiege to sort out. Montressa, up there, what did I tell you? She's been done by the time we get back. Well, I didn't tell you that, but, you know, she is done. 
Let's quickly check the father just to see. I don't know if we have finished anything for it, but come on. No, nope. of course we haven't. <laughs> We're never, ever going to finish that. Ever. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the foundry. Montress is going to shoot at a uh, SWAT zombie in the hope of killing it with her bullets. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Please do stick around and watch the other videos. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.